Hello everyone, I'm Jean-Jacques, an AWS Solutions Architect. Today, I'll show you how Amazon Cognito Manage Login helps you create secure, branded sign-in and sign-up experiences for your applications without writing a single line of code. Implementing secure and user-friendly authentication can be a complex and time-consuming process for developers. Designing and maintaining custom authentication implementations, including features like passwordless authentication and localization, can be challenging and divert valuable resources from your core application development. Additionally, providing a consistent and branded user experience across multiple platforms can be difficult, leading to a disjointed and confusing experience for your users. Amazon Cognito solves these problems with managed login a ready-to-use user interface for user authentication and self-registration operations that handle sign-up, sign-in, sign-out, and password management and can be customized via a no-code visual editor. With Cognito Managed Login Designer, you can configure banners, logos, and colors to match your app's branding. You can upload custom logos and select your desired color scheme to represent your brand identity. Administrators can preview and test the sign-in, sign-up, multi-factor authentication, and password change pages before launching them to production, ensuring a seamless and on-brand experience for your users. Managed Login supports multiple languages based on browser preferences or custom language settings, enhancing accessibility for global users. It enables passwordless authentication through WebAuthn with pass keys for biometric authentication or device-based security keys, as well as email and SMS-based one-time passwords. All right, now let's head over to the AWS Management Console for a quick demo. All right, in the Management Console, navigate to the Cognito service. Upon accessing the service page for the first time, you'll be presented with the introductory page. Select the Get Started for free in less than five minutes to initiate the process of creating an application and the associated Cognito user pool. The user pool or user directory creation process was completely revamped in November of 2024 to provide a developer first experience. We start with the type of application you will be integrating and based on that choice, Cognito will pre-configure the OpenID Connect or the OAuth app client with the correct settings. You can also configure attributes that the user can use to register and sign in. Let's choose the most common type, which is email. And for the return URL, we can leave this blank for now and finally click on create user directory to create the user pool slash user directory. Congratulations, you've just created a user directory and with this user directory, the Cognito console provides you with the pre-configured code from varying languages to integrate your application. We actually also have a live login page for this application, and we can access that by clicking view login page. This looks great, but let's customize the look and feel of this login page to better match our application. Close this tab for now and navigate back to the management console. After reaching this page, scroll to the bottom and click on go to overview to be taken to the overview page for this user directory. Once on this page, locate the recommendations titled apply branding to your managed login pages and select configure styles to access the managed login page settings. This section displays the current style configuration for your user pool. 
These styles determine the appearance of authentication pages across your app clients. Each app client can be assigned a unique style. To implement a new style, select Create a Style and choose your target app client. You may also access the branding editor through the app client's menu within the detailed settings. Select the style ID to view the general information tab for the style associated with the created Cognito user pool, user directory. This interface presents a preview of your current login page configuration. Additional tabs include foundation and components. The foundation tab provides CSS-like styling options for core page elements, including form alignment and grouping. The components tab offers customization options for individual interface elements to ensure consistency with their application's design. All right, select Edit and Branding Editor to access the settings. Once on this page and on the right, you will see Quick Setup. This interface enables modification of display preferences, including light mode, dark mode, or system-based, background image management, form positioning, and header and footer customization, including logo placement. These modifications can be implemented through the user interface without requiring manual code adjustments. Towards the bottom right, select Change View to preview authentication pages across different devices and viewports. You can view Sign In, Sign Up, and Multi-Factor Authentication pages in phone, tablet, or custom viewport sizes by adjusting the width and height settings. These modifications can ensure your authentication experience is optimized across all devices. Now, let's make some changes to this authentication page. On the right side, let's switch the display mode to browser adaptive. This nifty feature automatically sets light or dark mode based on the user's browser settings. Your authentication page will now follow your user's preferred viewing experience. Once enabled, you'll notice the dark mode toggle in the change view section becoming interactive. Go ahead and give it a click. It's like a mini light switch for your authentication page. Now, for the next change, let's enable the header and the footer. Global header, include header, yes. Global footer, include footer. Let's click that as well. Next, let's change our page's background. I'll do this by replacing the default background with an image from my desktop. So let's scroll up on the right and find page background. Okay, here it is. So since we have browser adaptive enabled, we'll need to upload images for both light and a dark mode. And before we upload, make sure to check the maximum file size and supported file formats shown in the upload interface. After this, let's go ahead and replace both backgrounds. So I've replaced the default background with the background from my desktop, and this is what it looks like. We have the light mode and also the dark mode setting. Next, let's add a logo to our sign-in form. We'll do this by navigating to the form section, which is here. And once here, we can select where our logo would be. So let's put it within the form. And then once we do that, we'll have the option to upload logos for both dark and light mode. And we'll do this to maintain our adaptive display. You can also adjust the form's horizontal alignment. I'll keep it centered as that provides the best user experience.
Now we can further enhance our visual design by customizing the next button and changing its color to better complement our background. And we can do this by navigating here and changing and putting in the corresponding hex codes. Or we can click on the color and scroll through the colors and pick a color that better represents our background. For dark mode, let's stick with something like this. And for the light mode, let's choose something like this. So this is what the login page looks like so far. We have the background modified, we have the logo up top, and then also we have the header and also the footer at the bottom. So I'm not quite satisfied with the appearance of the header and the footer. So I'm gonna disable these options for a cleaner, more seamless view. So I'm gonna scroll down to the global footer and header section and disable these settings. Okay, but it is worth noting though that the header and the footer section do provide additional spaces for logos. And this flexibility allows you to choose the layout that best suits your design preferences. But this is what it looks like without the header and the footer section. Next, let's enhance the form container. The form container is this white space here for the light mode and also this dark space here for the dark mode. And to do this, I'm going to navigate to the top here. I'm going to click on view all settings. I'm going to then click on components. And then you, you should look for form container, which is here. I'm going to click on this and this will take me to the editor for the form container. And we can modify the settings here. So on this page, the first thing I'm gonna do is toggle the page button down here to get the full page view. And then also, I think I want to make this a bit transparent, right? So I'm going to scroll down. I am going to locate the asset and the color and the version that I'm working on, which is the light version. I am going to modify the background color, the transparency. I'm going to put this to 50%. I also want to modify the border that's around the form. And let's put that at 50% as well. And this is looking a lot better. It incorporates more the background of the actual sign in page. As another note, you can actually have an image be presented in this form. And the way you would go about doing that is if you scroll up, if you click on show images here, it's gonna showcase the default image for the login page, but you have the ability to replace that with an image of your liking by scrolling down to the version that we're working on and by clicking the replace for the background image and then if you click on this, you'll have the ability to replace it with an image of your liking. But I much prefer the transparency of this version, so I'm going to keep that as is. And there we have it, our authentication page customized with logos, images, and colors. Let's preview how these design changes appear across our other authentication pages. So at the bottom here, let's select our other pages. So sign up page, this is what it looks like. MFA options, this is what it looks like. We can also preview on the other devices. So on mobile, this is what it will look like. On tablet, this is what it will look like. And then if we had a custom viewport, we can modify that here and view what that would look like there as well. All right, so let's save these changes that we've made and continue on with the next step. After customizing the visual elements, I want to configure additional authentication options. I've navigated back to the overview page for the created Cognito user pool. Here, I wanna open up the navigation pane. I then want to select sign in under authentication, and this will direct us to the sign in configuration page. On this page, you can adjust the settings for choice-based sign-in, which provides users with more options for authentication or identity verification. 
To configure the authentication methods, select Edit and choose the options you want to support. These modifications allow you to tailor the sign-in experience to best suit your application security needs and user preferences. I'm looking to configure the choice-based sign-in, so what I'm going to do is click on Edit for that. And once on this page, I'm going to select Passkey under Additional Choices. This enables WebAuthn-based authentication, allowing users to access your application through the Managed Login page using their device's biometric authentication like fingerprint or facial recognition or security keys for a passwordless sign-in experience. Once enabled, Managed Login automatically handles Passkey registration for new users by prompting them to set up a Passkey during account creation. However, for existing users or administrator created accounts, users will need to sign in first with another authentication method, such as a password or passwordless OTP before they can register a passkey. All right, so let me save this setting. And now I want to test out my customized authentication experience. So what I wanna do is I want to navigate back to the overview. I then want to open up my login page. So down here, click on View Login Page, and this will open up the customized login page in another tab. When accessing the authentication page, you'll see a sign-in form. For new users, there's a Create an Account option available. Let's start by creating an account to test out our customized registration experience through Manage Login. Once here, you'll be prompted to enter an email address and create a password that meets the password policy requirements. After entering these details, a verification code will be sent to your email address for confirmation. Once you've registered an account, you should receive an email containing a confirmation code. Copy that code and paste it here, and then proceed to confirming your account. So after confirming your email with the verification code, you'll see the option to set up a passkey. This appears because we enabled passwordless authentication earlier in our configuration. Let's click on Add Passkey to begin the registration process. So when you click on this, a pop-up will appear displaying a form. This form allows you to create and save a passkey on your preferred device. I'll go ahead and complete this process now. After successfully adding the passkey on my device, I was automatically redirected to the callback URL. Since we kept the default setting earlier, we land on a default Amazon Cognito user pool redirect page. In your application, this callback URL would typically lead to a page where the authenticated user can start using your services. Also, you may want to adjust the language settings for the managed login interface to accommodate users who prefer languages other than the default. To customize the language for the managed login, you want to locate the URL you distribute to users for accessing the login page. So the URL is up here. And what you want to do is you want to add a lang query parameter to the URL specifying the desired language. So for example, to set the desired language to Spanish, what you want to do is put in ampersand lang equal the desired language. And for Spanish, that's going to be ES. And as you can see, the language for this has been changed to Spanish. All right, to conclude, we've walked through the entire process of setting up and customizing Amazon Cognito Managed Login for user authentication. This includes creating a Cognito user pool or user directory in App Client, customizing the look and feel of the login pages, configuring authentication options and sign-in methods, implementing language customization, and finally, understanding the user flow from login to successful authentication. By leveraging these features, you can provide a secure, user-friendly, and customized authentication experience without the need to build and maintain your own authentication system. This managed solution allows you to focus on developing your core application features while ensuring robust user authentication. Thank you.